Uh, let's talk about today's big business news, which is the end of the road for celebrity chef George Calambaras with his restaurant group going into voluntary administration yesterday. Simply never recovered from the scandal of having underpaid staff by almost $8 million. Last night, iconic Melbourne and Sydney venues like Vita, the rebranded Press Club and rebranded Hellenic Republic restaurants were all closed. The fate of 400 staff is now in limbo as new buyers for the restaurants are trying to be found. Now, its administrators put out a statement last night saying the group hadn't been able to recover that hit to its reputation despite the rebranding. It also blamed the rise of delivery apps, which can take up to a 30% commission on food deliveries. But I've been speaking to the Restaurant Association and its CEO also partly blamed the Fair Work Ombudsman for naming and shaming George Calambaras, even though his company had voluntarily owned up to the underpayments. And Wes Lambert also told me restaurants in general are buckling under the bushfire crisis and significantly rising costs. The base wage for a restaurant employee, while overall wages are stagnant, is up 36%. The cost of food and beverage is up 30 to 40 percent. The cost of rents are up 35 to 60 percent. The cost of electricity is up 150 percent. The cost of gas is up 50 percent. And we expect that the Fair Work Commission is going to come out with another wage increase to the minimum wage and the award rate in just a few weeks. This is just going to add increased pressure to an industry that is already doing it tough based upon outside forces. Now, Wes Lambert told me many large chain restaurants are simply no longer able to turn a profit due to these rising costs and they will either need to raise their prices or close. For more on this, let, we're joined in Sydney by financial journalist and strategist with stock market newsletter Marcus Today. It's Henry Jennings. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Madeline. So, look, I think that no one would dispute that in the George Columbaris case, he is largely to blame for his own demise, that uh, underpayment of nearly $8 million. But the point made by uh, Wes uh, Lambert there is that the restaurant industry in general is under a lot of pressure. Yeah, I think especially the fine dining end is under an awful lot of pressure. Ingredients are just getting more and more expensive. And as Wes was saying, uh, wages are also going up as well. And I think consumers are changing in their appetites com completely as well. And going for more mid-range and family experiences, that, that uh, sort of uh, taking out the fine dining. And that really is, uh, I guess, a function of the economy at the moment, which is certainly not going spectacularly well. We've seen that with a number of retail chains collapsing and that only feeds through into the same narrative that's affecting restaurants. So it is a tough world out there. Uh, we've seen Heston Blumenthal, we've seen uh, Neil Perry, we've seen others. Uh, Jamie Oliver, of course, is another high profile uh, restaurant train uh, under pressure and collapsing in Australia at least. So it is, it is a very tough world, I think, out there. But certainly, you know, those that uh, have the formula right do tend to do quite well. Uh, you only have to look at uh, Justin Hemmers' uh, empire here in Sydney, which does appear to be uh, very resilient despite the, uh, the downturn in consumer sentiment that we're seeing at the moment. Yeah, it's always been a really tough game, but as you say, with the general consumer sentiment at the moment even tougher.